Well, I've been out since March, and it's not exactly the layoff I wanted, but it hasn't been a layoff for me. Uh, I've been I've been all over the place, uh, you know, from training. Then I went to some different gyms, and I ended up in TriStar. So uh, just took some time to get comfortable there before I made any final decisions. And then uh, three months out, I was planning on getting ready for a fight. So yeah. What made TriStar uh, the right fit for you? Uh, overall, it was Coach Faraz. I really liked what he wanted to work on with my game, uh, in, in the broad, broader sense of the whole sport, of all the arts. And uh, I was very happy to see and hear how he would do it. And uh, you know, I went back to Florida, continued training, wasn't going to make any big decisions that quick. Kind of took my time and uh, finally went back home to Nebraska sat down with my brothers and uh, yeah, I made my final decision and went to TriStar and uh, I love it. And there's no shortage of uh, great training partners up there either. Oh man, <laughs> not at all. Everybody's so good there, everybody's so great. It's kind of just opened my eyes to a whole other uh, level of the game. Now that last fight, Darren Elkins had an amazing comeback but you were really dominating him for much of the fight. Mm -hmm. So what do you take from that fight? I mean, are there any lessons or is it just, that's just the difficulty of a sport where anything can happen at any moment? Uh, in regards to my last fight, yeah, anything can happen. But my overall takeaway was experience. Experience and uh, just ex not, not just experience in the cage, but experience outside of the cage. Uh, I probably wouldn't have ended up at TriStar if that didn't happen. Uh, and I wouldn't be thinking the way I am if that's certain thing didn't happen so I'm very grateful for it. I took a lot away from it uh, yeah uh, I just to me just uh, I look at more like a sparring session uh, you know and now I'm going back in there and uh, gonna perform after that fight you know it was being near the end of the year or at the end of the year there were all these MMA awards and a lot of people were looking at that fight as the comeback mm -hmm. of the year all those sights and everybody bringing out, did it force you to kind of relive that moment again? And, and how did that make you feel? Or was it just at that point you were already beyond it? It was in the past, it didn't really bother you. But what is it? what was that like seeing that keep getting thrown yeah. out there and thrown out there? Uh, I mean, for the first 14 minutes of it, it was pretty good. And then the last minute of the fight obviously sucked. <laughs> but uh, no, I relived that you know, pretty hard after the fight for a little bit. Uh, you know, questioning why it happened, and what I needed to work on, and what I did, what I did right, what I didn't do right. I relived it pretty quite well. <laughs> uh, at that point, I just didn't even I saw like you know that it kept getting mentioned, but at that point, I didn't even need to look into it anymore. I already knew what I took away from it and what had happened and and what's gonna happen. Well, speaking of it, it seems like you were very reflective on what worked and what didn't work in that fight. So what's been a major focus of training for this fight camp? Uh, just being enjoying the process, uh, being objective and uh, learning and continue to get those reps out of what I'm going to use and yeah, just, just enjoying it, really, really enjoying it, being relaxed and, and you know, having, having my friends, my family be involved in it and not being so... Uh, not being so non-objective and just having one way of doing things. Just uh, being relaxed and having fun. Did the switch to a different camp, I guess, kind of keep it fresh and make it more exciting again for you because there was a, a big change for you? Definitely. Uh, it was a big change for me because I learned a whole other style of jiu-jitsu and a whole other style of uh, stand-up, a whole other style of training. Uh, I'm just kind of a whole new coach, and I uh, really took well to Faraz and the way he thinks and the way he sees things and his approach to martial arts and his approach to making a champion. So do you feel that this is a, I guess, a, a new Mursad? Is this a different version, a newer version? Because it sounds to me <laughs> like if you're coming with a whole different sort of <laughs> look at how martial arts is coming and it's coming with different English, do you feel that this is a, a different version of you that we're, that we're going to see or just maybe a more improved or a tweaked version? I feel like uh, you're going to see a little bit of both. You'll see a, ver a new version and you'll see, uh, I don't want to say old because old doesn't sound that good, but you'll just see things, uh, things 
that I did well before, done better, and uh, a bunch of new things, if, it, if, it, if that's what it takes. Matched up with uh, Pepe now, uh, who ha who's had some setbacks, but has also has shown himself to be incredibly dangerous yeah. with his submissions. What did you think about this matchup when they called and offered him to you? Uh, man, Pepe is uh, uh, a tough dude. They're very dangerous. Uh, when they called and you know mentioned that name, I was like, okay. You know, it excited me because uh, with him you have to be aware. You have to be aware. You have to be awake. And you know, you know what? Once you're stepping in there, you know what you're ex expect to get. And uh, it's a little bit different for me because I'm actually this fight it wakes me up and he excites me because I know what it, what he's going to bring to the table and I know what I got to bring to the table to beat him uh, in past fights I, you know, I was very confident you know I didn't even watch the guys and you know it's kind of yeah I was just very confident it didn't uh, give me that that feeling of hey man you're going to be in a fight and you have to earn that and uh, I'm willing to go in there and earn it you know I know no matter what happens to me, or no matter what happens in the fight, I have what it takes to 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 pull it through. Your birthday is coming up, but you're still just 26. Yeah. You know, time time is definitely on your side. But just one fight in 2016, you had one fight in 2015. Mm -hmm. Are you feeling a, a sense of urgency to maybe rack up some more fights? Because I think when you came in, there's a lot of uh, promise and hype. Uh, yeah. behind you that people are wanting to see is there a sense of urgency to start delivering more and uh, more fights to showcase that i don't think there's like a sense of urgency i believe i had two fights in 2015 was and i was on my way to having a third one but that's when i tore my acl and that's the reason why i had one fight in 2016 just because of the recovery process from my torn acl uh but yeah there's no sense of urgency uh, i'm just taking it one day at a time i like to fight Know, this new year, we're already here, it's crazy. Time just keeps flying. I like to fight a good three times this year and uh, just kind of continue to learn and get better and and have people be part of that journey of becoming a world champion. I dig it. I know a lot of times fighters say they always have some sort of nagging injury and I know you had injuries in the past, but if you had to rate yourself, are you at 100% you feeling now and 90%? Where, where do you feel that feel, you're at? I feel great. I mean, if 100% is the highest you can go, I feel 100%. If, if it's 200%, I feel 200%. I have no excuses going into this fight uh, at all. I had a hard, very hard training camp. Uh, yeah, it was very hard. You know, some days it's like, oh, man. I, and you know what to expect And week after week after week. Three-month training camp. Just a try start. So, and I was, I've was i been training before that also very hard. Training all year round. So, uh, no, uh, I have good people around me. I had my... Uh, my first strength conditioning coach and kind of the person I first got into May with, uh, Peachy Ballet, uh, he kind of, anything that was nagging or anything I had issues with, I would let him know that I kept the communication very open and, uh, you know, just kind of learn to trust him and just learn how to trust my team and everybody. That's great. Well, looking at 2018, what are the goals for the year? Uh, the goals to win, keep improving, uh, keep performing, stay healthy and win. And just enjoy everything and then enjoy life and be flexible and enjoy. So, Saturday, how do you get your arm raised? Saturday, I get my arm raised just by being myself, uh, doing what I've been doing in training, and uh, taking any opportunities that I get and going for the finish.